Oh, yeah. The guy from school? Jason. Jason. Jason's the school guy? And I know what you need to come. Hmm? We're back in the fire station. Okay, we're live. Okay. Uh, welcome to the, I don't know, what's the date today? 320 uh, peg board meeting. All members are present with the exception of, what did we say? Um, Jason. And who else, Jeff? Is that, the Is that who you were saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, uh, first item on the agenda is approved minutes from 220. Yep, second page. Let's make a motion to approve the minutes of 2018. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Well, that's funny. I had that typed at the bottom that they made the motion, but I took it off because it, it was a cut and paste from another one. They did make the motion. So, the <coughs> next item is public comments. So we can talk, we can talk about this, right? Seeing no one. I'm going to talk about it in my okay. um, okay. coordinator report. Talk about what? Just oh, the no. submission. Goes, yeah, the goes, submission I to the you website. Send this, since everybody got this email, I'm going to send it to everybody. I guess we can talk about it, right? But he said she's going to discuss it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even look at it. Okay, so no, no, nobody here for public comment. Okay, vote for <coughs> clerk. Or I added a new thing, or take turns doing minutes. So we have to, because there's no way I can, it's harder and harder to do it. So if anybody wants to do it, they can do it. If not, we're going to have to take turns doing it because it's impossible for the chairman to run the meeting and do the minutes. It's just, I'm not getting everything. I'm watching the videos more than writing. So any interest? <laughs> what? <laughs> like I say, if no, I mean it's it's not. It's just keeping the basic notes. I mean, so if if no one wants to, we're gonna have to pass it off. to you know, one week somebody takes it, and then next week someone else takes it. So I can do. I mean, I'll do today as my last, but then next week we'll just pass it on. So you can just look at look what I have and basic. All it really has to be is the motions and who made them. And I usually end up watching the video to to confirm that, which is sometimes <coughs> the camera could be here, and you could say, and then in the background you hear <coughs> I or second, and you don't have any idea. That's why it's best if you're here and just taking, like I just wrote Dave and Jack on that thing. So I'll um, do this, and since there's no interest, I'll just um, I'll just take turns. I thought we had somebody who was going to be interested. I think that was a fucking Raise your hand. So watch the you know, take a look at these minutes and then you can see and then if you want to do it um, next meeting. You know, it's not it's not a real lot of heavy lifting, but okay, next item is account balances. I think everybody has one sheet. Yeah, the basic account balance. I mean, I don't think there's any surprises. When's it up to anyway? It's up to. We haven't used any of the thirty thousand, right? Um, yeah, now? yeah. We have. Yeah. But how does that? How well, we, have we paid bills with it yet? I've submitted some bills yeah. to be paid, but I don't think it's reflected yeah, in these balances. Months, yeah, right? it takes a little while. Yeah, so. But we have. I mean, we are starting to spend that money. Can you give us a rough estimate of how much the, the 30 we spent? Yeah, I told you last meeting it was $19,878. Mm -hmm. So we got about $10,500 10, left. Roughly, yeah. But I we're mean, not going to spend all of that. No, I don't think so. I, I mean, there may be something here or there that may come up, but uh, definitely not $10,000 worth. Are we going to try to give some of that gap? Theory. Yeah, whatever we don't spend goes back into our uh, balance. So, if 
55. So the ba basically the balance in the account is 25,080.15, correct? That last number minus $30, 30,000. That's our balance as year to date. And that's what I will put in the minutes. 25, right? So it's at 55 minus the 30. She doesn't put it here, but she adds it here and yet. Yep. I'm going to have that one taken off of this report because it's confusing every time. So it looks like we've spent in wages to date $27,000. Yes. And then services and things like that. So that's where we stand. Okay, next item is review draft policies and procedures, which everybody should have yep. in that packet. Yes. So the two, um, so all the changes that we discussed last time are reflected in this newer version. There was two sections where I had to create actual, um, you know, wording, and those are on pages six and eight. And I already did find a mistake on page six. <laughs> uh, I forgot the word can. Page yeah, page six and page eight, they're both highlighted. Okay. Or they should both be highlighted. So uh, for page six, it actually should say bulletin submissions can be made by. by uh, make a mistake. They can use it. Is it, it says dropping off to the, can they use that drop off box that's outside the, uh, the uh, I assume if it, if it was addressed right. to WBPA, then it would get put in our mail slot. I mean, isn't that, isn't that what the box is for people to drop? I think box? it's so like paying bills, but I don't know if, um, yeah, I mean, but they, we have a mail slot in the mail room. People can put it in I know, our mail slot. It's, if the town hall is closed, right. you know, can they use that? I have no idea. Right. This is basically just a. Well, I don't really see why not, but I, I guess we can ask. I don't. I don't. Fas I mean, did did you get any <coughs> dropped off here at the town hall? No. No. So I think this is probably good. You get mostly emailed to you and things like that. Yeah, yeah. honestly, we, we really don't far. even get emails. We go out and look for things to put bulletins about. I think if it becomes an issue, we can talk to the town hall. And I think if someone comes by and the place is closed and they know that's there, they'll probably just use it anyway. So. Um, and then on page eight, um, that number one on prohibit, prohibited uh, programming or material. So one, two, three, four, five, and six is all part of that. Cable television consumer protection. No, oh. no. Two through six were pre existing there, and then in the last meeting, uh, the board had indicated that they wanted to put specifically naming the uh, Cable Act of 92. So, if we can we get a copy of that? Uh, you can get a copy online. Okay. It's, it's a pretty large document. Oh, no, I'm just, you know. Yeah. It's available online. But I mean, you have it in here, but it's not telling me exactly. So that's the one that tells, that's the one that says you, there's stuff that you don't have to run. You yeah, it says if it's obscene or blah, 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 blah. It's think, just, yeah. I think that's perfect, yeah. Just like when there's chapter and sections in, in type, these types of things, they don't. Right, they don't. They don't refer, you know, can be found <clears throat> online, can be found. So I think if, I bet, I bet if you punch that in, you can Acts of 1992. It'll yep. probably come right up. Here. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And that was the only two? Yeah, those were the only two. The other ones were uh, just changes and stuff. And and then the very last page also we added that hierarchy. Um, I mean the only issue I guess we would have to requested. before we approve this, we'd have to decide about the equipment coordinator. If right. it comes out of it completely, how we're gonna do that. So yeah. where is that? The last page. The last page. Oh. The very last the page chart. is the just the, the, the yeah the flow chart of um, so I guess we can 
Okay, so can we ask questions now about this? Sure. Okay. Uh, my cur uh, curiosity, because it's on the agenda about the uh, equipment coordinate position. Mm -hmm. When was that established? That was made um, in in July of, of twenty seventeen, I believe. So there was none before that. We didn't have the equipment. No. So the the reasoning behind um, the creation of the equipment coordinator position was because the the station had gotten had uh, purchased a new server, and the equipment coordinator was to help like transition to that new server. So I think you know initially it was created as a temporary position to fill a need. So um, you know the town administrator has asked the board to review whether the equipment coordinator position is needed going forward or if it should be eliminated. Okay, I just want to tell you something. I talked to her yesterday, town administrator. <coughs> I'm, I'm just going to stop you one second. We're doing so. The yeah, let's do the procedures. If we want to just hold them off till the end of the meeting and see if we're going to take that out. Okay. Well, yeah. Do you want an approval on this tonight? Um, well, we, we need to do it do at some to, point. Do we have to have a public hearing on this? On what? On the, on the policies and procedures. Not to my knowledge. Okay, so we'll just hold off on this. Oh, I mean, well. Okay. Anita hasn't said anything about a hearing for this. So we can, now that everybody just got this tonight, mm -hmm. again, if we want to look at it and then the next meeting we finalize this thing. Yeah, sure. And yeah. if we can find out if we have to have a public hearing for this, so that people know what. It just, I don't know, it seems like everything. Anytime you do policy, any kind of procedures or policy, you're supposed to have a public hearing. Okay. So I just want to make sure that, that that's. Yeah, I can ask. I just, it hasn't board, been even mentioned. When, even when the board of selectmen do, does a policy or procedure, they have to have a public hearing. Okay. I will, I'll find out. So we'll put that off till the next. I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just, next you know, no, it's difficult. fine. I'll find out. So we don't get any, any hassles and nobody stops writing to the AG and saying that. We're not obeying the open meeting. And then now equipment coordinator position. Renew or eliminate. This is Anita asked to put this. Um, I don't think okay. unless well, I don't think I got any follow up from Anita besides this. Did the rest of the board get anything or? I talked to Anita yesterday. Okay, so you didn't get anything, any follow up to the from the, from Anita besides put this on the agenda. Yeah, she just wanted to know she wanted the board to decide on that if if she should be renewing because uh, renewal for the position is coming up and she wants to know if the position should be eliminated or renewed. Okay, what do you got Dave? Okay, so when I talked to her yesterday, basically she said what you guys just said. But I asked her if there was a job description and she said no. Now I'm seeing that there is a job description. Okay. This is a job description, correct? Yeah, that's uh, some of the original documents that uh, okay. Anita gave us with the... So this is based when the equipment coordinator was, was placed into work last July. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it was, I apologize, I don't know exactly okay. when it happened. Well, when it was, when it's it relatively was, recently. Okay, when it was core in, in, involved, all right, um, it was for a specific reason, which was what you said is we had just gotten some new, new uh, equipment and stuff and... So now my question is, is, is it necessary to keep an equipment coordinator? And if we, and if it is, would this, is there going to be enough work for him or her to, to supplement this? Or can we just, or can we just get rid of it because we don't need it anymore? And if we don't, then who would be doing this work? Okay, so you're asking me? Um, so the equipment coordinator position, I mean, as far as dealing with the new server in that capacity, that's not really anything. Um, the only thing that I've had the equipment coordinator uh, do in, in you know, uh, regard to the server is uh, installing updates, software updates. but. You know the 
use and operation of the server is, you know, so if we were to point. eliminate this this position, mm -hmm. okay, who would who would be basically responsible for doing this? Uh, so for like a software update, well, the I access mean, there's, coordinator there's, there's, would just, do it. There's, I mean, there's things here. It says you know, um, need to schedule any related installation, repairs, or other necessary work. Uh, closely in conjunction with the access coordinated scheduling of any equipment installation or repairs. So I've and been doing that. So you're going to basically take over this responsibility too? Um, I, I, I already am, I guess, so. Well, I'm, I'm looking at that and saying that it looks like we're just piling on from one thing to another, where you have to take care of everything. If we get rid of the equipment coordinator, um, you have to be in, involved in the day-to-day -day minutia of what's going on here. You know, <coughs> that's probably not a good idea, um, particularly since the PEG coordinator is not supposed to be doing any of that. Um, I don't know what, where Dave's going, but I'm, I'm thinking that there's an awful lot of work here that if somebody's doing it, 20 hours is probably enough, but it doesn't, it can be up to 20 hours, is that correct? No. Well, no, this is not, this is a stipend position, this okay, is not so an hourly so, position. So we pay So them that's for my, time. my concern in regard to this position is the fact that, um, you know, this comes out of our budget regardless of whether the equipment coordinator is doing this or there's a need for it. You know what I mean? So he's going to get paid for the 20 hours a month, whether he works 20 hours a month or not. And likewise, if he had to put in extra time, like we're going to be putting in all this equipment, and it's definitely foreseeable that he's going to be working more than 20 hours in the month um, if he were to oversee that. Again, um, you know, I think that the stipend. I don't, I, I, I don't think that it's really appropriate for the position. It doesn't allow for a lot of flexibility. And it may be, you know, taking money out of the budget that doesn't need to be necessarily taken out. Okay. I understand what you're saying. But if you look at the, the first part of this, where it says the following the duty, those last four bullet points, <coughs> to maintain an inventory of all equipment, shall train staff and volunteers in the proper use of all equipment, Shall assist the access coordinator with the tracking of equipment by note to volunteers. Shall fill in for the access coordinator in his or her absence. So, you know, to me, those four bullet points are, are, are pretty important. You know, we can't depend on the PEG coordinator to be doing all of this. Or the access coordinator. Or the access coordinator. Like, if the access coordinator is, is, has to go, you know, has a week off you know, goes on vacation. Mm -hmm. I can't, we can't expect the pay coordinator to take over. That's, that is the purpose, you know, that would be one of the things that the equipment coordinator do. He could, he or she could fill in for this person and help them, you know, they, they know, they know all the equipment. I'm sure the access coordinator doesn't know every piece of equipment. No. Okay. But I'm neither sure does the equipment coordinator. But they should. But they should. Okay. But they don't. Well, I don't know about anybody else on the board. I, I just feel that this is, I don't think we should eliminate this. I think there's just too many things on here that, you know, if we do eliminate this position, then it's going to go to you or to the access coordinator. Well, prior to the creation of that position, the PEG coordinator and the access coordinator and the production assistants took care of all of those responsibilities. Right, but what fell through the cracks on that? If you, if you have people whose ultimate responsibility is the equipment, and you're saying, okay, you take care of this, you take care of this, you take care of this, stuff is not going to happen. But if you have one person who's responsible for it, that's their job. Okay. Um, but it's just, if, the, if there's a person who's just in charge of equipment, just literally WBPA does not have that much equipment to warrant, you know. But we're going to, aren't we? 
No, because once it's installed, it, you know, it's not an ongoing thing where someone needs to tend to the equipment five hours a week. It's just there isn't that need. Okay, so let me ask you this. What happens if the peg coordinator and the access coordinator both happen to be out for the same week? Who runs the show? Well, it, if would we it, don't have an equipment coordinator, who runs the show? I mean, I'm not, I'm just, you know, using something oddly extraordinary, but, you know, just in case, uh -huh. you know, is it illness or you have a planned vacation, the access coordinator might have an illness in his family or something, mm -hmm. and he or she can't make it. So now we have the two most essential people gone, and so for that week, nothing is going to be done. So I think that's just kind of like a really, you know, weird hypothetical. Uh, well, wait, just, wait. I, think I, I could just ask, you said nothing will get done, but neither... The like, access like coordinator, you, you aren't here when we tape selectments meetings. You just schedule someone for Correct. That. So you could schedule a whole week and go away. Yes. Unless well, there's an emergency. Well, what, that's whatever I do because, you know, if I don't have a backup, then I plan for when I'm going to be on vacation and everything is taken care of before I leave so that things will run smoothly while I'm away. So it's not, like, that difficult to... Well, I think we're looking at this... <clears throat> At probably the wrong time because you just said that we're going to be using the ec the equipment coordinator till all this equipment's put in. Hopefully, but the equipment coordinator has another job, and the equipment coordinator may not be available to oversee installation. I may okay. have one of the production assistants be here. Okay. So, do we want to look at maybe making it an hourly position up to twenty hours a month, and then if he if you would schedule them, right? Yeah. Would schedule, the access coordinator would schedule him? Uh, no, I believe... He directly reports to the peg coordinator. Mm -hmm. so you yeah, would... I would... Yes, I mean, that's what I do right now when I have him do something, you know... Um, what is, the, what is the stipend? How much? Uh, I think it's 250 a month? a month, I believe. 250 for 20 hours? That's not even 10 bucks an hour. Well, it must be less. It must be estimated less than twenty dollars. Twenty. Forty-eight hundred dollars for the year. It's two fifty so per month. Per so. That's three thousand dollars. That says right here three thousand a year. That's, that's probably the peg, peg coordinator. Peg coordinator forty-eight hundred on this one. I don't know that it's yeah less than twenty hours per month. So if the, I mean yeah. It says three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Out of about 12 is 250. That's 250 a month. Yeah. yeah. But then divide so that by 20. It's 1250 an hour. 1250 an hour. It's over minimum wage. A little over minimum wage. So 1250 an hour. That's and how much that. is it a week? It's 250 a month. 20 hours. His hours, his hours based is based on a month. Yeah, so it's, it's five hours a week. Basically. basically. So, I mean. What's 240 divided by 52? 240 or 250? 240. 461, $4.61. 461, well, that's how many hours a week. If you take the 20 hours a month, multiply it by 12, and you divide that by 52, yep. that's how many hours. Yeah, 4.2. Four four point four four almost four and a half hours a, a month, a week rather. So that's times 1250 is 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Does that sound right? Sound right, Jeff? Sounds right. So do we want to make, do we want to change it? Do we want to make it an hourly, you know, if, if one month is no equipment issues, the peg and the access to them have everything under control? How soon is this, this job unit is going to start is the installation of all the equipment. Hopefully very Within soon. Within the next couple of weeks. Oh, really? That so by the end of the month? By the end I'm of not going to say for certain we don't have an install date yet. Okay. And how long will it take? Roughly? Mm -hmm. Maybe weeks? a week. A week? A few days. Maybe. Yeah, it shouldn't take too, too long. I mean, it really depends about availability. So would it I was be just safe waiting. to say that by our next meeting in April, this could be accomplished? 
It could potentially, but I don't want to say for sure because I'm nothing's not scheduled. For sure. Yes, it absolutely potentially could be done by April. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll make a motion that we keep the equipment coordinator. We just want to put the, 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 the discussion about eliminating or renewing his position <coughs> on for the next meeting. Okay, well, we can just, oh, okay. yeah. I, I was just going to say, let's do it now. What, do you, what were you going to say? You were going to make a motion to? I was going to make a motion to just renew, his, renew, his posi renew the position. At the 20 hours a week, even if we find out we don't? 20 hours a week. Even if we don't need him? You want to pay him for 20 I'm sure hours? I'm they'll find something for him to do. The question is, is, is he doing 20 hours a month now. now? Nobody knows. There's no there's no accountability. There's no timesheet submitted, so I can't say. So like it's it's difficult for me to utilize him because hours aren't tracked. Is there a reason why we're not tracking hours? Is it the stipend position? Yes, but with a with a maximum of 20 hours, we should know how many hours he's working. If he's going more than that, then maybe we should adjust it. But well, if we're going less stipend, than that. Stipend positions are um, created for basically like volunteers where the position requires a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But this is being treated like an employee, not a volunteer. Like stipends are really created for volunteers. And this is treated as a job. Right, because it says right here, an outsourced vendor position. Right. Um, and, and stipends are really for like high demand volunteer positions. So we're getting down to semantics here. My question comes back to, is there a way that we can track the hours? Um, yeah, I mean, I could request that the, you know, that the equipment coordinator give me their hours. Um, yeah, but it doesn't. All right. Well, let's make that part of the part of the uh, motion then. That we approve the the position as a um, stipend, twenty hours per month, and that the person is responsible for providing a timesheet to the peg coordinator on the hours that he or she works that month. Yeah, I I I, I agree with in regards to I don't even know why hours are attached to a stipend. Right. You could work 80. You could, it's a stipend. If right. I, I mean, the only thing I compare it to is a, a coach at the high school. Mm -hmm. He's got a stipend position. Yep. He probably mm -hmm. works hundreds of hours. It takes as but much I as think it takes. The reason is, is because if it goes over 20, if we, if we say don't use it as the hours, then now, because it says here, is it be filled as a part time, non benefit, non benefited town employee position? If we don't do that, then they could ask for benefits. But if we make it specific... No, they don't get benefits unless but, it's over 20 hours right, per week. That, that's, yeah, but, plus, plus that, that, right. that um, really, this, this is what, his job description that we're looking at? Mm. Yeah. yeah okay, see, we're calling it a stipend position <clears throat> here, but this is saying a position may be filled as a part-time employee. So it doesn't say anywhere on here that this is a stipend position. Well, so that's how it's paid now. I know. I'm yeah. just I'm just yeah. saying we got a two different. So maybe things. we change that to a stipend position, take away the hours. So then he could basically work one hour for the month or fifty. Yeah, but I, I can't imagine he's Enough ever gonna work. <clears throat> I know, but if you you know, if you have expectations, you know, you could put down a minimum. I mean, I, I just, I don't know if about tracking it, if it's not an hourly, if he's not <coughs> getting paid hourly. So no, the, month, even the month he works it? 50, yeah. we expect the peg coordinator to get timesheets and description of everything he does for 50 hours. I know when my wife was working for a stipend, she had to submit to the board, um, how many hours to the, to the board, the peg board, how many hours she worked, well, not to the peg board, but to the peg coordinator, how many hours she worked every week. And she was allowed to make so much money in order to, um, in a. But I don't think that's a stipend, because it's a amount a per hour that gets taken off your tax bill or whatever. Right. 
Well, right. actually, they pay you, and you're supposed to. But it's dependent on how many hours you work. Right. Yes. Well, what, so you, that's what are you not saying? She was a stipend, or she was one of those? She took it off of her. She got paid it's a as tax a senior. Off. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that has to be recouped. That has, yeah. That's hourly. Yeah, okay. That's an hourly pay. That's not a stipend. You actually get a, a check for an hourly pay. Um, so, I, I, I mean, I, whatever, whatever we think, but I mean, I'd like to, you know, I know there's a lot of stuff here. Is as he doing it? Some of it. Yeah. I, would, I don't have a prop as the PEG coordinator. I don't have a problem with keeping an equipment coordinator position. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is the stipend portion of it. It's difficult to manage it. So would you rather have a be paid hourly? Yes. Hourly up to 20 hours per month. Yeah, why don't we do that? And, and that would make it much easier for me to manage. But you assign, you assign him. Can he just come in? For 10 hours one week and just say, I worked? Or do you, you are the excess? No, I, I, I direct them as to what to do. They don't just like, or the show access up coordinator. and do, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll amend, I'll amend my motion then, that uh, we keep the equipment coordinator uh, not to exceed more than 20 hours a, a month or a week? A month. A month. A month at a rate of 12 <coughs> See now, now I don't know if we have to go to the personnel board. Is this yeah. a new no, position? No, no, no. no, if if because it's going to be a position, then the job description has to be approved by the personnel board. Okay, so I guess the motion would be to, um, I guess what you said, yeah. with the approval of. And board. I don't think we it, can to move it to the peg board. And yeah, all, I don't I mean think we can do an hourly rate yet. We'll have, the, they'll have the, to the set peg, or the personnel board would determine what that scale would be. So twenty hours a month. Hourly. Up to twenty hours a month hourly. Um, and we just move it to well that's that's what we want to do and we'll have to find out the details. Mm -hmm. if, if, do I have a, a second on that? Second. So basically it's where we're changing this position to a twenty hour a month hourly employee up to 20 hours a month an hourly employee yeah. for the equipment. So let me ask one question. If he works over, if she works over the 20 hours, what do we do? The pet coordinator would have to justify why. But you said oh, he can't work over 20. We're, we're making it a 20 hour a month yeah. employee. Yeah, so, just so if he happen. works 10 one, one day. I guess, you know, if he's going to work more than 20, some of that will be volunteer, I guess. Or it'll have to be picked up by the access coordinator or the pet coordinator. Yeah, but they can only work so many hours too, right? Well, uh, peg access coordinator is limited. Um, peg coordinator, it's a stipend position. There's no set hours. So you can get 200 hours. You can just so in other words, when they come to do the installation, you would be here the whole time? Yeah, we're going to put a cot in the back. Okay. <laughs> oh, I imagine uh, she'll, she'll I, these guys, sure her husband really that's really not how it's going to work. So she's going to see what, Korea, she's going to say that, she's going to say, put the TV there, put the TV <laughs> there, put the sound, and then you don't have to sit and watch them. I mean, yeah, I don't them. intend to sit around and watch them. So I'm up gonna, to 20. I or my you know myself or one of the employees will be here first thing to open up the rooms and, and if it's you a know, saturday we'll have to get whatever, whatever. Case, so. so basically the up to 20 hours a month hourly employee the equipment coordinator motion by dave and then we got to just ask anita what what has to happen step. now yeah uh, i've already sent her an email in regards to the other question it's easier just to send them now so uh, i have a motion to second any other discussion hearing none all in favor aye, aye. opposed I think that's going to really help you in the access coordinator. With because the, lot, because it's going to take no, I like the position. <clears throat> I just don't. I don't like that no, it's I a stipend. Understand, but I'm just saying it's going to help. Yeah, you have no control if it's a stipend. Right. Okay. So the next item on the agenda is. I had Anita's question, but we also had a question Dave asked to put on the agenda: peg coordinator and equipment coordinator stipend or hourly. I guess we can cross out equipment coordinator because we already know what we're doing with that. <laughs> now the peg coordinator. Dave, you asked for this to be put on the agenda. Well, you know, the pay coordinator, I mean, is, are we going to keep it as a stipend? Are we going to use it as an hourly or, or, or what? You know, I'm, I'm kind of confused. 
huge. You know, is 19, 19 and a half hours, that's what you're working, right? Mm -hmm. 19 and a half hours, is that more than enough time? And is a stipend, you know? So, um, what I think, as far as the PEG coordinator goes, um, with the stipend as it is, the way that it's set up, with, again, this is a 20 hour per month position, or that's how it's outlined. Um, it doesn't allow for flexibility. So say if and or when our access coordinator, you know, leaves and we are back in the situation that we were before, mm -hmm. I'm expected to pick up that slack at five hours a week or it's going to have to go before the board of selectmen to temporarily appoint me as access coordinator, da 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 and if a new access coordinator were to come on, there's a very good chance that they're not going to have prior experience with CASTIS or certain equipment. We're fortunate enough that our access coordinator worked for us as a production assistant, so they're familiar with the thing, so they didn't require a lot of training. But if another person came on that didn't know the equipment, they're gonna require a lot of training, which is going to either exceed five hours a week significantly or your training is going to be really slow because I'm only going to put in five hours a week. Well, I mean, we can't, I don't know if we can make a position to cover all the what ifs. No, no, no. What no. if you left? Then how do we have to right. go in front of the board to make, you know, the act, you know? So, I mean, yeah. so I guess this, this stands as, you know, keep it a stipend or go hourly. I mean, hourly with a max of 20 hours. I mean, that's... I, that's what it's going to be, so it's, it's, it's the same as a stipend. Yeah. So what's the difference? 20 hours yeah. a week? It's the same as a stipend. It's 20 hours a month right now. No, it's 20 hours it's a 20 month. 20 hours a month. Month right now. 20 hours but a again, month, it's that's a what I mean. It's a stipend position, so it's just whatever. But I don't particularly want to work for, you know, less than my access coordinator gets paid. Sure, that makes sense. So, um, you know, I really limit... Uh, you know, try to try to stay as close to that five hours as I can a week. I, I rarely do, but um, I try. You're working more? Yes, I am working more. I mean, <coughs> I've put in, um, I don't even want to, I've so been working, here since four o'clock today, so I've already put in three hours. So are you working more than 20 hours a month? Yes. So how, how, how do we go and justify that? It's a stipend position. Mm -hmm. It's so a stipend position, though, so even it's- Even though we're saying that she's only limited to 20 hours a month. It's a stipend position. I don't know why the stipend positions have all of these. Okay, well, then I think I think what we what I would suggest is this just my I think we should table this and get get a clarification. If if it's a stipend position, right? Why are we say setting hours? Because we know for a fact that she's she's putting in more hours than what's than what we allow. Well, I can tell you kind of the evolution of how it was. So the PEG coordinator, when I started, so WBPA, I was the first access coordinator. So when I was hired as access coordinator, I was the first one. And um, the PEG coordinator was on the board, the PEG board. And um, it was a, you know, a, a town resident and they did that for free. And then it changed um, that the PEG coordinator got a stipend, but was still part of the board. And then most recently, the PEG coordinator was taken out of the board, but the stipend, you know. So that's kind of how it's evolved. It started out as a volunteer position, then became a stipend position where it was an elevated volunteer position. Now okay. it's kind of a job. So what, how would the board feel about this? Keep it as, as, as a stipe, keep the PEG coordinator as a stipend position, drop the hours, and raise the stipend to $6,000 a year. Do we have the money to do that? That's my question. <laughs> no, I, mean, I'm, I'm, I understand. I'm yeah. just asking. <clears throat> I, mean, I don't just, know. What... Because I don't see how, I mean, the 20 hours in the stipend is it really to me is it working because she's working more than 20 hours she's already got it. how many hours now well, I, d I haven't been keeping track but um i did payroll this week I, i've probably put in 
seven or eight hours this week already okay, well, because I had to deal last with Last month, how many hours stuff. did you put into the whole month? Well, I'm just curious. I don't know. Is, should the access coordinator be doing some of this work you're doing? No. The stuff that I have done, no. No, it's payroll. all been payroll peg of the people stuff. he assigns and things like that. Yeah, no, but peg coordinator has to do payroll. Um, I had to deal with some stuff with upper town management, and that should be dealt with by the peg coordinator, not the access coordinator. Um, being here at this meeting, uh, I should be here, not the access coordinator. So, so I think maybe what we need to do is look at, you know, how much money we have for the salaries. $4,800 a year, 20 hours a month. You know that she's working more than 20 hours a month. I, I just don't well, see how that, you know, how you can set a certain, how you can set a, a, a limit on the hours and the stipend, especially if she's working more. How many there hours? There isn't a limit actually set. It's like guidelines, whatever. I mean, I can work you know, 80 hours in the month if I want to. I just, I don't want to. And so you'll get paid 40, Correct. I will get paid the same amount no matter how much I work. Well, so when things, we don't have work going on and, you know, equipment and everything and things are just running, are you going to do over 20 hours those months too? If everything's running smoothly like it's supposed to, no, I wouldn't. But since I have started, I've been working more than... How many hours a month? Roughly, uh, probably about forty hours a month. Okay, not counting. Is that counting when the access coordinator? No, no. Have I'm it? just as peg coordinator. I would say I probably put in about ten hours per week. So that's forty hours a month. So that's twice what. Hmm. That's a full time job. <laughs> And that comes back to the twelve fifty an hour. That's one. <laughs> if you do the, <clears throat> yeah, but you're thinking that that's going to start going down now. Because I'm hopeful that things will start to calm down, and I right. won't need to be so hands on. But yeah, when we, I think when we get to, I think but everybody asks the same question. I'm concerned about when we're replacing <clears throat> our access coordinator. I don't, I, you know, I'm not planning to do that song and dance again. I don't, I don't like to be in the practice of working, you know, for free. So why don't, so, you know, so maybe we should just leave it as be until after all the installation and everything Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking under that scenario that you, <clears throat> we should just make it an hourly position, but then you're worried that you'll go over, then you'll be 40 hours a week. That's why they probably make them stipends. Because if you go to 40 hours a week, then you're eligible for benefits. Oh, but I don't, uh, no, there would be no, You'd never no do way. 40. I would. 10 hours a week, maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to be, I wouldn't even be doing close to 20 hours so a week. I, so, I would, so I would say that if anything we do, we make it an hourly position. And then if the access coordinator leaves, we still have to go to the front of the board to say that we're going to make you access coordinator if he leaves. So it doesn't matter if you're hourly or a stipend, we still have to arrange for you to be changed to that position. If, yeah. that, if that happened. But right. I just, I don't. I don't really care to like go through do both. Yeah, no, I really. don't want to do both, and I also don't want to repeat history. So like we're taking steps to improve this setup and how things are, so that you know it's not a giant mess like it so was. So let me ask, let me ask you this question: If for some reason we lost our excess coordinator, yes, okay, and we went out and posted for a new one, mm -hmm. do you think it would be advantageous for us? to hire someone as an employee. In other words, someone that would work, you know, part-time, 20 hours a week at an hourly rate. I don't so understand would, what you're I'm, asking. I'm real kidding. I mean, that's just, there was a lot of what ifs there. I mean, right now we know where we stand. We have an excess coordinator, we have an equipment person, and we have a peg coordinator. Yes. I guess we're looking at what's the best when everything's working, I'm when everything's concerned. not working. So the, the cons motion I would make is just leave the, leave the pay coordinator at a stipend position, 20 hours a month. So this there doesn't, then we're not gonna change anything that doesn't so have to be a motion. Anything. Just yeah. leave it the way it is. Okay. Yeah. So then, just my concern is that no change. if you go change, over 20 hours a month, so be it. No changes have been made to the access coordinator position as far as pay. And when, or if our access coordinator leaves us, and 
we are going to hire a new access coordinator at that same lower rate. I'm not really interested in pursuing hiring someone at that same lower rate and going through all that we went through the last time because it doesn't attract, you the know. people we want, yeah. Right, and I don't want to do that again because, you know, we're, we're coming up on, you know, July, it'll be a year. So with that scenario, changing the peg coordinator, how does that fix that scenario? In that I would be... It wouldn't change it. If we just raised it $1,200, you no, still... No, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm not saying... Okay. What I'm saying is, if that isn't changing and the access coordinator doesn't change, like, that's... I see that as a problem. I think if we're looking for a new access coordinator, then that's when we should discuss what we should pay, right? We did that, yeah. and yeah, it didn't we, happen. Right, but we've, you because voted. we've... Because we filled the position. Right, okay. but... so positions filled and we that's right why we, and now you're comfortable but it's still not the correct pay rate for right. that position so who, who would we have to talk to I'm just I mean I think we already talked about this we can't just keep raising pays and giving everybody salaries it's gonna be, be it's, no it's gonna be let me finish Dave please okay. it's gonna be the point where we're not gonna have any money left in salaries we already raised salaries a little this year I mean if we just keep raising salaries and raising hourly pays When's it going to end? I mean, I know you're saying we might need to someday, but right now we don't have to. No, we don't have to right now. But if we lose the access coordinator, we need to think about what it's going to cost us to get a new one. Correct. So we should we should look at raising that rate. <coughs> you had already voted to raise we that did, rate. It just hasn't. It hasn't happened. come through the, the time yet. Well, n now that. At the town meeting, it was changed, so the peg board can just have a public hearing and then change the rate. It doesn't have to go through the personnel board. Which is on the agenda. Correct. Right. Okay. So when did that change? Yeah. At town meeting. I don't. I don't. I don't must have talked to you about, about that. At town meeting. Yeah. Did you have something you wanted? No, to say? it was just what you were saying. So that when we voted all that drama about the twenty to twenty-five, uh, yes, well, none of that's ever taken place. Correct. Well, yes. It didn't approved. get approved right. by the personnel board. And that's my issue. So the budget we just approved last meeting, what did we approve it at? Roughly. Did we approve it at the twenty an hour or twenty five? I know the, the dollar budget seventeen fifty. The excess coordinator. Right. I mean when we figured out the budget, we oh, figured oh. out what people were getting paid mm -hmm. currently. Yes. So we figured it out at the current pay he's at. And didn't you support a selectman just approve the seventeen fifty an hour? No. I thought you did. We don't approve hourly pays. We approve the position with the position pay. at the rate. Yeah. At twenty hours, not twenty at less than twenty hours, twenty hours a week at seventeen fifty an hour. Right. That was. I don't recall what the. Uh, yeah, there's just they as far as like budget for 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 um, wages goes. Uh, the WBPA wasn't as active in the past as it is now, so there's a lot more stuff going on. Right. Access coordinators working more hours, you know. More than 20 hours? No, no, no. Time. They're working their amount that they're supposed to. Okay. But, like, the previous access coordinator prior was putting in, you know, 10 hours a week sometimes. And, and... Because there was a lot of things that they needed to be done. No, no, no. They weren't doing anything. Like, they were doing very little. Like, now we're recording way more meetings. We're going out and recording things in the field and stuff like that. I'm just saying wages, if we look at past wages, it's not a good reflection of what we're going to spend because we're much more active now. So what I could see happening is this access coordinator is going to work here a couple of months and figure out I'm underpaid for what I'm doing, and he's going to bounce. Well, that's and what then the last we'll be one right did. Back into, which is what the last one did. So then we'll be right back into the position of not having one and no one wanting it because we're not paying it enough. That's right. Yeah, but the, the last access, co access coordinator got a full-time job doing this. No, okay, so I don't think he left with, because... With, benef with benefits. Well, no, I'm just saying I, I, I don't think... But, I mean, I guess <coughs> the only reason why the access coordinator would think that he's getting paid to less is every meeting we talk about, we're giving him a raise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I don't... Has he asked... Did, has he said to you, I need more money to do this job? No, he just started. I know. So, 
I mean, I, he'll I, be here for a little while. But and I, and I and I think if I think we should definitely give him a raise, you know, down the road. But I mean, I think just to raise it, just but. And then when I ask how when we budgeted what we budgeted for, that's what budget is. You kind of figure out what everything we needed, mm -hmm. and then we make a budget for it. You know, I'm sure it would have to be a little higher if it were 25 an hour. Well, you just adjust, you know, what, take it from somewhere else. What the workload, you know, of other. See, you know. we moved money back into payroll. I thought for that reason. When we redid the budget, we took we, money from all those other right. categories yes. to put back to into just, payroll. That was just to cover all the meetings that were taping now. Well, just the increased in meetings and stuff. Well, yeah, just the increased work and. Have we gotten our money yet from uh, charter our yearly allotment there? No. Is it, is it, doesn't it come in March? Not to my knowledge. It's not about it. it came in March. Okay. So, do you know when it comes in? So right now the peg. Right, no, we can figure that out. The peg coordinator, we're going to leave it the way it is right yeah. now. I and think we've already discussed the assets coordinator because that's right after the peg coordinator reports. There's assets coordinator, mm -hmm. pay rate change, public hearing. Yeah, you asked for that to be put on again. Because you said, you said that Anita said that all we need, it doesn't have to go. Isn't wasn't the reason why we were holding it is because it had to go in front of the personnel board? board? No. Correct, but now it no saying, longer has to. There was an article at town meeting that um, changes could be made to positions without personnel board approval. But I, I don't know the exact wording. But, but I, thought that, I, thought that, I thought that only applied to um, employees that were um, they got benefits. I didn't think that that applied. What well, town meeting was that though? October. No, October. it was the no. most recent one, no, February. One Oh no, yeah. you're right. October. It wasn't in October. It was October. Yeah, so, if it, so we've been talking about this after October, and oh, we yeah. were told it has to go in front of the personnel board. Yeah. Right. So, if there was a motion that I, I don't recall any article that said that we can don't have to go. To, I, I mean, it could have happened, but. Um, okay, so we'll um, leave the peg one the way it is. And then the access coordinator pay rate. Well, I guess we'll have to get clarification again on that from Anita. Um, so we'll table it to next month. Well, yeah, we can. Because if we're looking to raise pays, that's he's above any of the people that tape, correct? No one's making yes. right. He does get paid more. Because hmm. I know the girl we hired from Assabet, we voted. At an hourly rate, but then when it came in front of the selectmen, I saw the agenda item and it was a higher hourly rate. I don't know how that happened, but we, what was agreed I've, upon? I have, to I have to talk with Nancy about it. There's some, something about an intern rate. I don't know. Because whatever happens, we, the Board of Selectmen voted on what we voted on, not this number that came in. Yeah. Okay. They may have a deal with I us, but they have to pay so much. Can I'm just kind of doing that under all this to pay. That's something up about Okay. I talked to the town administrator about that, and I made a phone call and talked to some other people about about Asabet and about them sending an intern. Okay, and it's basically what we what we thought it was, and what she said is that that week that she's working, she can work up to thirty hours. Yes. And Anita told me yesterday because I asked her, I said, well, how do we do that and not have her considered? As long as we have it down as she's a temporary. Um, internship then she can work up to the 30 hours a week yeah i do, i had spoke with leslie the um the accountant so in other and words not when she comes for her week she can work as long as she's not scheduled like you know 30 hours a week every week it's not a problem if one week she works 30 and the other week she doesn't work or whatever that's it's not, not the a way problem. i understood it from from Adina. Okay. That she can work every week that she's here, she can work up to 30 hours. So if you have enough work for her to do for 30 hours, then she can work for 30 hours. As long as she's considered a temporary internship, then she's not considered, and she's not entitled to any benefits, because that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, how, how, they, how they do it in, the, in that department is, is above us. I think. Yeah. We made the motion to give her that 30, and we were told it was okay. Has she started? No, it has to get approved. That the 
selectmen the meeting. board of selectmen meeting tomorrow. tomorrow night we voted again it has to come forward. it's on there again yes no it, it, it got, that was the that was the day Isn't of the that storm snow storm? Did you guys, did oh, you guys that, that was i know i saw it on an agenda yeah um yeah it was on the agenda but there was a snowstorm okay so we uh i'll look at the uh so you can uh, go to the reports your reports Reports. What do I have this? New programming. So, um, so the moving the funds didn't make it on the agenda. Okay. So, um, new programming. Uh, because our um, wages balance is uh, pretty low, and we won't be able to complete all of the work till the end of the year um, with the wages balance it, it is right now I've put a hold on editing um, and non-essential work for um, the station but even with that uh, since our last meeting we've covered 12 uh, public meetings including the special town meeting on uh, February 20th uh, we also covered a info session that was put on by the FISP committee and then also a Q&A session on the senior center with um, the town administrator. And uh, as far as YouTube stats, um, we had the uh, senior center Q&A uh, did pretty well. It had 72 views um special town meeting was 61 and then other meetings averaged usually around 15 views or so and uh the senior center the value of the senior center uh video that i had mentioned that we had created uh at the last meeting um, that ended up having 149 views so um, it was watched quite a bit. Um, is quick, that the one with the meter and baptism and uh, No, that was the Q&A session. That was like 70-something views. But it was still... Was this the one with the uh, interviews of the people at the senior center? Yeah, that one was 149 views. Yeah, so I, watched that was, it. I watched it twice. <laughs> That's why it was so hot. <laughs> the one, because of the one with, with um, the town of the baptism and the uh, court council of aging director okay that's being shown way too many times now okay i mean it's still being shown i watched i saw it again today okay so it, that needs that should come off <laughs> i'm sorry okay um uh equipment upgrade status um equipment is coming in some came in yesterday some came in today um couple items are special order, so we're just waiting on those to come in. Once we know that they've shipped, then I will schedule installation. Um, I anticipate it to be within the next couple weeks. Uh, and did I have anything else listed? Sorry, I don't have an agenda. Account balance transfers. Ah, uh, there we go. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at that. Yeah, that, that is on there. Thank you. But, okay. Yeah. So we have roughly 10,000 left in the account. Correct. So what do you, th you think? We're going to need more to finish up the year, is that what you're saying? Yes. In order to finish up the year, if the access coordinator is working his, you know, 19 hours a week up until the end of the year, it, it ends up leaving us only with about $1,000 in remaining wages. Well, after I take out the stipends for the pet coordinator and the equipment coordinator, there's only about $1,000 left for wages for production assistance till the end of the year but there's a lot of other um, money sitting in other accounts for this year's budget so I'd okay, like to so move that, that money that we get from Chata yes. where, where is that money going to doesn't that where, is that going to just a, I'm talking about our budget, budget. for this year just comes so into the certain account. amounts were budgeted for different accounts like okay. equipment upgrades or so how much do you think you're gonna whatever. need to finish up the year well, what do I have? $9,800 right now. Well, I don't know <coughs> what's paid up till now. 
what, this was printed just on CD. No, I'm saying in, in wages, I would, what do you feel you're going to need? Um, what, what month what, are we in? Again, March. I don't know. This don't is know. up to the 14th of March. Okay, so. So we got April, May, June. I mean, I'd like, I'd say like at least like 6,000. So we are going to take that out. So we're getting very close to being higher than, well, with, we're 9,000. We only added 9,000 for next year's wages. Mm -hmm. So we're already, you think we're going to need six, so under the budget, we only have about another $3,000 that's not going to be spent for next year, because we went 45009 It's not going to be spent for next year. Yeah, because you, you're saying move 6000 over, that brings that to $39,000. Mm -hmm. Next year, we're forty five nine. Okay. So all of these things we're talking about, raising and hourlies and mm -hmm. all that, we will be over the 45000 that we budgeted for next year if we change all these things. Because you want to move six over just to finish this year. Next year is not going to be less, I don't think. Shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be less. So it's going to, no. But if we raise everything, it's only another $3,000. What are we raising? You know what I'm saying we're talking about oh, all the oh, increases. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm saying, saying what we budgeted. So you want to move, where do you want to get the 6000 You want to take every, everything from everywhere else? I take I take twenty five hundred out of purchase services. That's the balance. No, there is no, 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 no. Purchase services is the the account that we take the most out of. I would take money out of supplies. We don't even touch. We'll take the whole six thousand out of that. See, for supplies, all we've spent is two hundred and seventy six dollars. Okay, so take the six thousand dollars out of that. So if you want a motion, I motion, I make a motion. We have to have we have to do a hearing. So we would just have to have a hearing for next, to as part money. of our next meeting. To move money? Yeah, oh. to move money to other accounts. That's what Anita said. Within our budget? Yeah, within our budget, we have to do we a hearing. Do we didn't do that time. the last time. We didn't move. Yeah, we did. We moved money. We did. we did that at town meeting. No. no. We did it here. We did it here. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the budget for next year. This no, is this no, year's no. budget. We're talking about moving money around. So that we could get it, so that we could get to where we are now. I just know we don't have a, <clears throat> we don't have a. I think we fill out a piece of paper, and I don't know if this has to go in front of the finance committee. I don't think it does, but we don't have a, we don't have any type of hearing to do that. No, it's our, so, it's our money. I swear, Anita it. said we had to have a hearing for it. So the motion's going to be okay. to move six thousand dollars from, from supplies from to supplies to wages to wages. That'll still leave you twelve hundred bucks in supplies. Yeah. I, don't anticipate spending it. All right, I'll second that. And I'll just get the. If, I know. <laughs> we'll make the motion, and I mean, we'll make the motion. We'll pass. If we find out it's different, we'll have to revisit yeah. it. But, yep. uh, so, a motion, second. Any other discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Are we still on the pay coordinators reports? Uh, yeah. That was the last one. Channel 194. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but every time I turn on channel 194, I'm either seeing what I just talked to you about. A Q &A. Or I'm seeing advertisements. I'm not seeing any meetings. Okay. And I don't know why. What do you mean reruns of meetings? No. No. Yeah. Not. You're not seeing reruns. Yes. Of um. I did, we did get some feedback in regards to that and um, the uh, access coordinator was doing the scheduling wrong and needed further training. And he has received that training and I'm hoping that that will be remedied. Because it's just a little, you know, frustrating. When you go to turn on 194, you're looking for you know, like a planning board or something. Yeah. And are you seeing? Well, shoot, shoot me an email when you see that. Don't wait until this meeting. Just send me an email, and say, hey, you know, there's no meetings playing on whatever, and then I can take a look. Okay. But just you know, where I have such limited hours, I can't, I can't, you know, check in on everything that they do all the time. No, no, I understand. So I kind of rely on feedback from other people. Okay. So like I did, we did get a submission through the town website, 
speaking to that almost exactly what you just said. So then I went and I looked and I saw that there was something wrong, got in contact with the access coordinator. We met earlier this evening. I asked him to show me how he was doing it. I saw he was doing it wrong. So we went over how to do it correctly. I'm just, I'm looking at the agenda for tomorrow night. What is starting, what, we, we went 1339 for her. No, 1450. What? No, we went 1339. What are you talking about? That doesn't sound right. No. That doesn't sound right to me either. No. Well, I'm looking at the agenda that everybody approved tonight. And okay. it says 1339. What's starting pay for a production assistant? I, I need to talk to Nancy because there's some issue about potential um, intern pay that's different than the regular act or production assistant pay scale. Yeah, if she's an intern, she, they may have something from the school that's required. No, no, it's not the, the school. school it's the something pay. with the town. What is starting pay for a production assistant? And, uh, it's about, isn't it like thirteen or fourteen dollars or more? Fourteen, fourteen fifty, isn't it? Hold on. I mean, I'm only bringing this up because it's on the agenda tomorrow, and it's it's in my notes, and it's on the minutes we just approved for 1339 an hour so the number comes from somewhere I, I wrote it <laughs> and typed it so um, I'm looking at my notes and yep. it says 1339 so someone gave me that number I didn't oh, I second it. it's, it's gotta be good <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, did you second it here, too? Yeah, you did. <laughs> well, I was like, I did it, so. Thing. Okay, so, uh, okay, 1339 is the lowest starting rate for production assistance. Okay, that's what we started at, the beginning pay. So right. that's right. But that will be the, unless it's different. I have it to won't speak be... with Nancy. She left before I was told that I needed to speak with her, so I'm going to talk to her tomorrow. So then. This is what the board voted. Correct. So it can't, it can't go higher. It no, I don't lower. believe so. It can go lower, I guess, but it, I but I, I think know. we have to bring it back to us. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have to talk to Nancy. I haven't been able to talk to Nancy. I don't know what the situation is. When does the school start? Um, you as know, as the board was it was yeah, before? it was supposed to be effective, whatever, like two weeks ago, but. Right. So just move it tomorrow night at 1330. That's that's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Unless I mean, if I don't think I heard anything from Nancy. Did you get an email? Did I get an email on that? No, I just I had spoken with um, Anita earlier today, and she was asking about that. And she's like, Nancy was asking, you need to talk to Nancy. So after I was done meeting, with I mean, Anita, I, just, I went to Nancy's office. She was gone. If there's a change in it, can the selectmen uh, change it? Does it have to come from us? I would think so. I mean, we made the motion. That's what we made the motion to do. Right. But if, it, if, but if there's a requirement for it to be changed one way or the other. All the position is, is we're hiring her yeah. as a production assistant. Right. I don't know what. I don't know either. Yeah. I don't know. So that's what we're, that, um, there's no issue. We'll just, that's what's going in front of the board tomorrow. So. Um, what else? Nothing, I don't think. But <clears throat> do just, it's not a bulleted item, but I just want to update the board on happenings since our last. Can you talk about this? I did. That's the one, that was the submission where you were talking about the um, oh, okay. meetings okay. and stuff. What were you saying? Before? Okay, so updates. Um, we received an email with some feedback. Um, I'll provide each of you a copy of that and then we can discuss it at um, our next meeting. Um, and then uh, there was um, the, the superintendent requested that we remove all of our equipment that we were keeping at the high school. Um, Why? Uh, Why don't we, um, she said that. I'm, in regards to that. Yep. Why don't we put that on the next agenda? There's no, okay. you moved it out. It's gone. Yes, so the equipment has been moved out. So I guess on the next agenda to, to discuss 
the school should just become a separate entity from everything else. So That's why I wanted to, I want details. Mm -hmm. so I think we should all okay. know the details. All right, so we can talk so about it um, next, the next time. Agenda. But uh, well, our equipment has been removed from the schools. And you're taping the, the school committee meetings differently, but they're being taped. Yes. Okay. Uh, school committee so, meetings are still being recorded, just um, the setup is different. School equipment. So if you can just, if you want to give us, for the next meeting, if you want to give us an email or something, whatever, if you think there's anything that we need to see before. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So anything else under? I think that's it. Future agenda items. Right now we have policies and procedures. We're going to discuss an email that she just received in the in, um, issue with the equipment at the school. Okay, and the policies and procedures just we just need to verify if we have to have a public hearing. Yes. Yeah, I'm I just ask. I already sent the needer an email and I cc'd you. Yes, so, I saw it. Uh, that way they will get the I won't forget about it. So anything else that we see, anything else that you'd like under under the peg coordinator's reports, anything different than what she's giving us? Um, I mean, does that do we you track everybody pen, pen sends in our forms? for pay, right? What do you mean? Sit. When I work, when the access coordinator or somebody works, yeah. he writes down what he does. If I'm a production assistant and I work, I write something and I sign it. Is that how Yeah, it there's a timesheet that they fill out. So you follow you follow up with that. Everybody's getting so everything's tracked with the people getting paid. We have all yes. the tracking for everything. Yes. The only ones we don't are the stipend and Christ. The pro the the assistants there. They um, Production assistant? Yeah, production. They don't, they have excess as far as the amount of hours that they can work? It's less than 20 hours per week. It's the same as all the others, just so that they aren't eligible for benefits. Do they all have the password to this box out here? Yes. Yes. I talked to one the other night and said he did. Um, all, of my, all of them that I've ever seen, but we'll have to they, make sure. It, they, they were all given the passcode, so if they don't remember, that's on them. But uh, also, they would be um, responsible for getting in contact with me to find it out again. So, um, but so they, they have all been provided. Good with Brittany, what she gives us for updates every every meeting. Yeah. So I think we're getting to the point where we might, you know, might not have to meet every month after we get all these things settled. I don't think. I mean, yeah. I once think, we get because if we're getting to the point where all we have is. Yeah. updates the peg coordinator reports <coughs> well that would be great i would love if that was all we had yeah i mean i can't That'd be wonderful i can't foresee unless we and then then maybe we can look at we've always put off programming if we want to make decisions on mm -hmm. or talk more about what goes on for programming i know we have yeah. but that's something if else. we start talking about that then we have to have a public hearing for those right because then everybody be involved in that Does discussing pub, uh, programming yeah I don't think so. You, the peg board is supposed to be like an advisory role, yeah. so you would be just, you know, giving your suggestions or what you think, you know, what you'd like to see. Yeah, All right, next meeting. Um, I guess it would be. It's either going to be the 17th or 24th. If we stay on Tuesday. I think Tuesdays have worked. I mean, I know. Today's the 20th, so it would be the. <coughs> so the 24th. Six. So the 24th is good for me? It's fine with me. Is it is not there? for me. Oh, you can't be at this? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the fourth Tuesday. I have the meeting on the fourth Tuesday. And we usually, so do we usually month. go the third? Uh, I believe so, yes. Okay, so the okay. one week before would have that been one I might not be the 17th. The 17th I can do. That one I might not be able to do. Might, oh, you, you got to check. Uh, I, I'm how many do we have to have five or four hmm? we have to have four or five you need four okay. go on vacation or whatever <laughs> How dare so the 17th and right now all we have is the policies and procedures email and the school equipment so um and your report so we don't really have that much we i guess 
we have a few questions that have to be yes. answered too. So. Motion to adjourn. Second. Six <laughs> We're doing it at six thirty again. Six thirty. <laughs> so Tony. Second. <laughs> Good. Tony's in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Jack, to did Jack. You, did you move? <laughs> did you move to adjourn, Jack? <laughs> I didn't. Dave moved. Dave did. Dave did. Dave did. Someday someone's going to get a, a first in before day. <laughs> yeah. You tried this time, didn't you? It's not easy. Uh, <laughs> uh, any other discussion here? Not all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed?